Hi, this is Matt Ogmon from uh, understandinge.co.uk and in this short video we'll be covering what are barcodes, UPCs, ENs, ISBNs and ASINs and over to me in the flash. Hi, for the uh, purpose of this article I'm going to broadly call um, GTINs or GTINs um, which I also call global trade item numbers uh, as barcodes. The, the reason why I'm using barcodes is because you can relate them, it's much easier. Um, for example, if you go shopping on the back of your tin of soup, then there'll be a barcode on the back of that. And that's essentially what we're talking about, is those barcodes themselves. Um, so the first question really is, is what is a barcode? Um, and a barcode by its correct name or acronym is GTIN, which is a, a global trade item number. Um, and in short, it's a unique identifier. And I've got a couple of sample products. For example, this, this Robertson's Orange Squash. Um, it, it, there's only one, this, this is a product. And you may find other products that, like this squash which come in much larger uh, containers or even smaller containers. And essentially this is just a single product and it's got a unique identifier on the back, which in, in this case it's an EN. So you can see the barcode here and this is what um, is the mechanism for displaying these numbers. Um, but essentially it's just a sequence of numbers and that is what a barcode is for it. Um, so why are barcodes important? And they're, they're really, really important, especially when it comes to the, the likes of Amazon, um, because each product needs to be created and each product needs its own unique identifier for that. Um, and in, in short, they're keys. That, um, so when, you, when you're shopping for your food in as the Tesco or whichever supermarket and this item gets passed across the till and it goes beep, what actually happens is that the barcode's red, the unique identifier, it looks it up into a database um, and then returns the value. So when you pay your bill, you pay the correct value or hopefully the correct value um, at the end of your purchase. Also in the background as well, this identifier, um, the, the supermarkets we use it to, um, for many different things, the number one is stock control. So uh, if lots of customers buy this, then they can, their reorder mechanism can kick in and more, more of these are orange squashes can be ordered. Um, and also for reporting as well, so they can see where these items are being sold to um, across their chain uh, for them. Um, when it comes to Amazon, um, uh, Amazon's just like the supermarket. Amazon needs a unique identifier so it can find the, 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 um, the correct product. Um, there's a couple of different variations. So again, I've got a couple of examples with, you, um, with me. Um, there are ISBNs, there's UPCs, there's EANs, there's a JAN, and a GTN14. And I'll, I'll explain what these mean. Okay. Um, ISBNs are uh, is, just, is an acronym for International Standard Book Number. And on my desk, I have got a couple of books. So I'll just put this up to the camera. I hope it's in focus. And you can see there's an ISBN number again. There's the barcode. And that's just a visual representation of these numbers. Okay. And it's these numbers which are called a um, ISBN. And again, I've just got another book on there. We can see the same similar format. And again, ISBNs are normally denoted by ISBN in the front of the menu. And the hyphens are numbered just for uh, the readers themselves. Okay. Uh, there's another book, uh, Experience Comic. Well, I'll do some book reviews later. But again, ISBN, barcode, and it, the barcode is just a representation of the numbers themselves. Okay. Uh, the orange squash you've already seen. Um, again, toothpaste. You see, there's a barcode on here. Okay, and again, from when you're putting this item through the till, so it scans and the correct value goes back, and other reporting functions too. Um, EMs are really, really common, and the, the standard um, uh, EMs are the European. Uh, sorry, let me get this correct. European article number. Okay, and you'll come across if you're in the United Kingdom, you'll come across EMs very, very frequently, and uh, DVDs and media are the popular items for these. Okay, and you'll see on the bottom corner, got a barcode, and that's an EM, which is a 13-digit code. And again, I've just been around the house, picked some random items up, some kiddies toys from Play-Doh. There's an EM on the bottom as well. Okay, and uh, some bees, which I found too. Somewhere on here as well, another EM as well. It essentially means that if I want to sell this Play-Doh on Amazon, and it doesn't already exist, then I need to use this barcode to create the record on Amazon. 
Okay. I did mention there's some other ones as well. There's UPCs, which is a universal product code. Now, in the United Kingdom, you won't come across those very often. Um, if you're in the United States, then UPC is your standard. Um, for Europe, it's the EAN, European uh, Article Number. And then UPC, which is Universal Product Code, is really, really common in the States. Um, there are a couple other ones, okay, like I mentioned. There is a JAN, that's a, that's a Japanese Article Number, probably really big in Japan. I have no idea. And there's another one called um, GTINs, or GTIN 14, which, um, to be honest, I've never really come across on there, so, and you'll probably not come across. You'll come across EMs and ISBNs all the, pl all the time. Okay? Um, there is one other special one here, and it's to do with the marketplaces which we deal with, and it's called an ASIN, which is um, short for Amazon Standard Identification Number. Um, I known it from a long time as Amazon stock inventory number, which is very, very similar. Um, uh, an ASIN is not a barcode as we know it, it's Amazon's version of this barcode. So when you create a product on Amazon, this barcode will reference an ASIN, and it's the ASIN which is Amazon's key. Okay. Um, obtaining barcodes, really, really good question. Um, the, the major company to obtain barcodes from is a company called GS1. Um, if you're in the UK, you can find them at gs1uk.org. Um, you do have to pay for barcode ranges, um, and you don't actually own the actual barcodes themselves. You lease them for a period of time. Um, and the actual cost of that is based upon your actual company turnover. Um, not the number of um, EMs, for example, which you need. So if you were like a small manufacturing company and you've got a few products, then you may only be given a thousand um, EMs for you, your own use. Um, whereas the, if you're a massive company, say a fashion company, for example, and you literally get through hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of products, then your range, which you're, you're allocated, would be much, much, much more bigger. Um, the, the, again, I'm just referencing my notes here. Um, the, the, the latest fees for July 2011 um, from the GS1 site is that there's a joining fee of £107 and then an annual subscription of £117. I'm not the best person to speak on their fees. Um, if you want some more information on them, uh, you can visit them at www.gs1uk.org.